Joining me now, Newt Gingrich, former House Speaker and a Fox News contributor. Um, you wrote uh, this piece uh, that calling this an attack on America, Newt. Your thoughts on what we just heard from William Lajeunesse, the reporter, and Jorge Ramos on the ground as well. Well, look, I think it's pretty clear. Uh, use Jorge Ramos's numbers. There are at least nine or 10,000 mm -hmm. potential people, if you count the ones on the Guatemala border who want to come north. The, the easy question to ask is this. Let's say we open the border. We welcome all of them. That picture goes out across the whole planet. How big do you think the next convoy is? And, the, and then the caravan after that, and the caravan after that. And you get to the question, you're either going to control the border or you're not going to control the border. And as an American, I'm, I'm, we, have, we have the most generous legal immigration system in the world. We have over a million people a year legally nice. becoming American, or we're getting American right to be in America. Most of them go on to become American citizens. So it's, a, it's a, just a dishonest lie to suggest that we don't have an, a serious immigration program that's legal. Now, the problem we have is there are a lot of folks who want to break the law. And, and if you ever had open borders, as you pointed out, the Gallup World Poll, I think the number for all of Latin America and the Caribbean was 179 million people would like to come to the U.S. That's just unsustainable. So the question becomes, what are you going to do about it? And the president, who has inherited a disastrous uh, immigration system between court orders, bad congressional laws, federal regulation, it's a total disaster. He's trying to get his right. Uh, I think it's important to stop this caravan, in part to send a signal to the rest of Latin America, no, you're not going to be allowed to come in, and in part because in the process of stopping it, we're going to learn a lot about the laws that need to be changed. And frankly, Congress may be in the lame duck session, ought to be challenged, not, to, not, not comprehensive reform, but let's take the 10 dumbest things. Let's just fix one step at a time and begin to make it possible to manage our border. Yeah. Uh, I just want to play this clip from The View today uh, in an animated conversation about this and get your thoughts. Let's play that. Is this straight up fear mongering? I mean, when did when did he start putting the Middle Easterners in? I Are, they walking? Just... Are they walking here? Well, I, mean, I, I don't know. You know what? He makes up everything. He'll tell you Osama bin Laden is marching. Uh, they're referring to the fact that the president suggested that there might be some criminals, and he said that people from m unknown Middle Easterners are mixing in. Um, your reaction to that, Newt? Well, first of all, the Secretary of Homeland Security said yesterday that we have to recognize there are probably people from the cartels among the seven to 10,000, that there are probably other people who are uh, involved in, in human trafficking. Remember, a lot of those pictures you saw of, a, of a, a man and a young girl, he wasn't her father. He was the guy bringing her in to sell her into human trafficking. So let's be clear. Most of these people are just folks who'd love to get to the promised land. They'd love to have Christmas. They'd love to have a chance to live like we live. But there is a substantial set of people who are lawbreakers, who are dangerous, who are MS-13 members. And if you were a terrorist and wanted to get in the U.S. and you saw 10,000 people trying to get in the U.S., how unlikely is it that you might decide to join them? Pretty good way to get in. Uh, yeah, there's a huge upsurge. They used to have a lot of single young men crossing the border, and now, more than ever, they are arriving with a child in tow. Um, and the Department of Homeland Security, as you say, has a really hard time identifying that child and whether or not they're supposed to be with that adult, uh, which is a potentially very scary situation uh, for these young people. Newt Gingrich, thank you. Always good to see you, sir.